It's interesting that the the claim that that Bush was an illegitimate president um, started this fight, and and we're as as we speak, and uh, you know by next week when when we run the show, maybe maybe there is a declared winner in the in the twenty twenty presidential election. But um, a lot of people are well, a lot of Democrats are are uh, uh, eviscerating Donald Trump for for not. Um, sort of quietly going away and, and challenging the, the legitimacy of some of the votes. What, what's your take on all that? Um, does, does Trump have a right to, to go through this process and make sure that, that votes in Pennsylvania and Michigan and, and all these states are, are legal and proper? Does he have any tools to approach that? Well, he has a right to file whatever uh, cases he thinks uh, are appropriate in, in, in different states. What we're learning from all this, from this go to the mattresses strategy, is that there's really not any evidence, uh, or at least not sufficient, to uh, overturn margins of tens of thousands of votes. I mean, in Michigan, it's over 100,000. You, you, don't, you don't change those by finding a box of missing ballots or doing a recount. I mean, that is significant and structural and and uh, much greater than anything that uh, Rudy Giuliani can uh, come up with off the top of his head in a in a hearing. Uh, and so, you know, I, I don't necessarily begrudge uh, Trump's legal team in filing cases in different ways or calling for a recount in, say, you know, Wisconsin or, or Georgia, where it is uh, very close, you know, about 10,000. Although, re- again, recount can get you several hundred votes. It's not going to get you 10,000. Um, what is, I think, uh, damaging is uh, Trump insisting still that he won, and if it, if he didn't, it's only because of massive fraud. Again, without presenting that sort of evidence, this is not Bush v. Gore, where it came down to 500 votes in one state. It's not even Bush v. Gore times five or six states, because again, the margins are not in the hundreds uh, of votes. So some of the talk and sort of leading his supporters increasingly to think of the eventual result as illegitimate. I think that is uh, that's not good. Uh, although let's let's be clear that the Democrats don't have clean hands either. Uh, four years ago, um, you know the the resistance sprung up and Hillary Clinton, uh, you know, didn't concede and uh, well, I mean she seems conceded formally, but then kept talking about uh, the problems in the process. And Stacey Abrams, right, uh, also I think still considers herself the governor in exile of Georgia. Uh, yeah. So you know there's plenty of of ill feelings and and. Uh, uh, soiling our democracy to go around. I think if the shoe were on the other foot with Trump leading by, you know, 30, 40, 50,000 votes in half a dozen states, and, you know, th- there there would be litigation as well from the Democrats. It would, you know, look a slightly different perhaps, but, um, you know, ver- when you have bitter polarization politically and a low level of social trust with uh, low public confidence in our institutions, uh, this is what you're going to get. Mm-hmm. 